Bonjour, Bonjour. madame. Une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Une baguette. 1,05, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour. Euh, je sais pas. <laughs> Today is day two of our French road trip. Last night we stayed at uh, an air, or in an air, in Le Crotoy, which is just below Boulogne. It was a, a lovely little air, very quiet overnight, didn't hear a thing, slept like babies, which was much needed after the, the long slog yesterday from uh, West Yorkshire down to Le Crotoy. This morning we had the delights of the bread van who arrived. So we've got uh, a fresh baguette to have some um, jambon et fromage sandwiches at lunchtime, ham and cheese. And we're, we're on the road. It's a bit murky this morning. The sun's trying to break through, um, which will be good, hopefully. We're heading south. We know the route we're going, but we don't know where we're staying. Um, we've got F1 Quali at 3 o'clock, and then we'll probably decide where we stay after that. So we're, we're heading down um, Aberdeen, Everdre, Chateau, that's the route that we're going to take. So come along with us and enjoy our adventures today. Let's go. On y va. On y va. So slow techie time now. So if you've noticed me head up display unit, which a lot of you have asked about, and when I turn it round you'll see it. <coughs> I've turned that now, uh, I've put it back to KMH. Um, so it's easy for me to see what with KMH I'm doing, because the speed obviously, you, you have to work the mileage out. You're 49 mile an hour is 80k. Um, so on my head up display I can just see what I'm doing instantly in K. So that's good. And then the other thing on this uh, Ducato, it has a speed limiter. So I've limited it to 49 mile an hour. Obviously if I press the pedal harder, it will go over, but it'll beep to tell me that I'm, you know, um, exceeding the limiter. But if you're just pootling along now, you know, and I'm, I'm, I've got my accelerator on, it just stops me at 49, which on my K's is about 78. So. Um, you know, there are a lot of speed cameras about. We've just seen another sign now, you know. Yeah. So it's it's handy. Also, um, when you're on the um, on the motorways, on the payage, um, and also the, the, the free motorways, the cameras, if you're doing a certain speed, they will flash you. Do you want to explain with will. that, Slot? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we've, we've been flashed already. You know, First within, one we saw, we got flashed. within ten minutes of getting, <laughs> getting off the train, we got flashed because we were doing um, we were doing about 60, 65 on the motorway, um, and because of the size of us, their sensors on their cameras think we're a wagging, so they flash you, and then it's only then when obviously they look at the footage and they see that we're a motorhome. We've never been, we've never had any summons from anybody, um, and we've been bringing. Um, motorhomes into Europe since about 2013. Yeah, and we've been flashed hundreds of times, never had a ticket. No, Germany is no, another matter, no. but we won't go there today. No, don't be there. <laughs> um, if you've noticed, everybody waved in France. I'm like the Queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the little man in his in his operating whatever it is centre looks at the thing. Oh, motorhome, get rid. So don't worry about that. Um, different like, if you get done on one of these roads, I think. Smaller yes. roads, but uh, so there we go. And just a, a little tale about Slaw's heads up display. If you've watched some of our other vlogs, particularly MC500 and North Yorkshire tours, um, Slaw's had a lot of stick for speeding. Why was that, Slaw? Uh, that was because when I got the head up display, I didn't realize I could change it to miles per hour, so it was in KMH. 
So when people could see it, I was doing 60 and they were thought I were doing 100. So, um, yeah. So I changed it to MPH and then I had to change it back again. <laughs> it's like you're clocking your car. <laughs> but, uh, all good. All tools for the job. Right? Onwards and upwards. Sun's coming out. Sun's coming out. Travelling now down the A28 from uh, Abbey B to Rouen. You'll have noticed I have my MacBook. I always have my MacBook open. I always need to know exactly where we are because you never know if your sat nav fails and you don't know where you are, you're going to be stuck. So I always know where we are on the MacBook. Just a little bit uh, to explain for those of you that don't know in France you've got blue motorways and you've got purple motorways. At the moment, we're on a blue motorway, that means it's free, you don't have to pay. Excuse me, Mrs. Slough, I need to video this coming out of this hill. Oh, this is pretty. Little interruption. So, this is Blanier sur Bresle, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> that's beautiful. Looking at the map, it's got an ancient abbey. Um, and a manor house. So back to Mrs. Slaw. So on your French road atlas, your blue motorways are your free ones. This is the A28, this is the free one. Your purple ones are your payage. And that's where you have to take a ticket and then when you get off it calculates how much you owe and you have to pay. We filled up yesterday with diesel, which is gasol, and we filled up on a non-motorway road and it was one euro forty. We've just seen the prices for the motorway and it's one euro seventy. So always try and fill up before you get it on a motorway. Supermarkets, best place to go. Yeah. So you've got your Intermarché, Carrefour, Auchan, those are your, um, so there's, there's Lidl's, Oh, we've just passed now into the Normandy region. So that's it for me about my back boots. Oh no, it's not. Um, I have put the sat nav on, and this is just to get us through Rouen. And that's because we have, in the past, really struggled to get through Rouen. So I put in um, to get us from here to Louvier, which will just get us through that tricky little bit. Um, we have managed to navigate it but yeah. I think on balance we usually go wrong somewhere yeah. <laughs> so sat nav's on to get us through go on and then it'll be going off because um, I like my maps in France so, your overhead sign go on 20 minutes fluid fluid means it's flowing it's moving so if it's slow fluid you are moving this morning, Florence. Oh, yes. no. in a small air, so this is a small one if you can see, if you look round behind me, um, just a toilet really, picnic benches, trucks, Helga, and this is slow. So just a quick stop, um, and then we're off to where we're going. Where we're heading for? Yeah, where we're going to. Uh, we're going to navigate Rouen. Rouen next. Yeah, and then Louvier, and then down um, Dreux, Evreux, Chartres. See where we end up for quality.
Beauty. Let's go. On y va. On y va. So, Mrs. Slot, I think we just done Rouen. We have we just negotiated Rouen. Great. We think the reason we've had problems before is we've always hit up on roadworks. And there were no roadworks today. Straight through. Not a problem. So, that's good. Now, we're just on to the section of free motorway now and then there'll be a section of payage so we'll need to take a ticket take a and, ticket and pay hey we need to be over there then everywhere yeah. everywhere yeah quick move there slow Don't be cheeky. Is that it? You don't, it? you don't have to get out for change. No, 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 I had bang on. <laughs> so there was no taking a ticket there, like I thought there was, because uh, everybody's got on at the same place, so there was no need to take a ticket. It knew where you got on, so that was uh, €3.40 Euros for that little section. We're back now on the uh, A154 now, heading for Evreux. just um, arrived in a little air. Um, this is a free air, air de camping car. There's Helga. 
and this is in a, a little village called Marbu, which is 4k north of Chateau Dun. So we've just stopped so that we can um, watch Quali and have a bit of lunch. Here's your um, services. So it's free to stay here. Uh, this air has got um, a drop for grey and black and looking at this you can pay to get um, water and electric just like it was at the other one. There's some toilets there and it's right at the side and a lovely little farm. This has got a children's play area, picnic benches and some lovely columns here. I'm not sure what this is for. It looks like it's been made by children maybe. So if you stay in here you can see that there is uh, a public swimming pool. There's also information of where we are within the region and we are here, yeah, Mabu. So we've come from Chartres and a lot higher up, and we are heading down to Blois tonight, we think. Also, if you bring your pool, you can have a game of pitonk. That really is a lovely little place to park your camping car. Okay. And this area has got space for 10 motorhomes. So not as, a big, not as big as the one we were in last night, but obviously this one isn't at the seaside. Oh, we'd better go feed slow. A beer. Oh. Um, Riverside, please. I don't want much. Nope. It's Riverside. It's He's camping here, wasn't he, Slab? So that was just Mr. Bloom. There's the basket. Mrs. Sloan's going to get us in here. It looks nice. Can't quite see, but just at the back of there is uh, the Loire, I think it is. So, campsite's there behind me. So whether we can get in or not, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Bit of good luck for once. Sloan needs a beer. Wifi as well? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, two, 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 five, four, three. Mm -hmm. 
Vai, Maggi! Maggi! Panic then. Oh, we lost that. We need to do the, the map thing as well. Say where we are. Who flies down here? So we'll see if we can. Keep them out of way with this. Hopefully. Uh, unless there's some uh, Vera to start with. Cronenberg this time. Lit. Good evening. Good evening. So, back to Mrs. Slaw's homemade map. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Back to Mrs. Slaw's homemade map. If you remember from yesterday, we're going from Calais all the way down to Port Grimaud. Day one, we went from Calais to Le Crotoy. Today's day two, and we've this is the route we've taken. We went from Le Crotoy to Abbeville, down through Rouen, Evreux, Dreux, Chartres, Chateau d'Un, Vendôme, and down to Amboise. And this is where we are tonight at uh, Amboise. We've done 241 miles and it's taken us five hours. So we're going to have a little walk out in a bit and have a look because the chateau is just at the back of the campsite and it does look superb. Um, I have actually been here before. Um, I used to work in a travel agent a long time ago. Let's just say mid 80s. Um, preserve my dignity and we went on a, a, a trip organised by um, Thomas Cook to the Loire Valley and we did Chateau Chenonso, Chateau Blois and um, Chateau d'Amboise. So um, I've been here before but it's absolutely stunning so we'll show you some photos of that and a little bit of footage later on. So I think it's time for a beer now Slaw. We just happen to have two ready. Have you been in yours? I've had a little bit. Uh, well that could be yours then because that that's lower. Okay all right. I'm pinching my beer. Cheers. Cheers. Or a votre santé. A, a votre santé. Grand. Très bien. There's the chateau. Chateau d'Amboise. And then there's the campsite down that road somewhere down there. Yep, the barrier. Yep. 
so you just got to go, I believe, up there, and then you can get on the bridge and across. Go have a look. Stunning. Happy, 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 Anne. This is just outside um, our campsite and it's the um, air, air d'amboise. So it looks like it's uh, open all year round, 24 hours, um, one day 12.55, two days 25. And the only thing separating it is that little wire fence and you can see it. Because this is the air down here. And all this looking. So this is the air on the left. And that's our campsite, just over this fence. And way down there somewhere. So, let's see if we Yeah, so they're all lined in. All lined in, but down there. Looks like it's full. Good evening. Good evening. What a view. Where are we, Mrs. Sloan? We're in Amboise. Amboise. And that's Chateau d'Amboise behind us. So we've had his tea and had a little walk up just to see the chateau lit up in all its splendour. And it is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So that's the end of today's vlog. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to head further south. We're still not going to get down to Port Grimaud, we've still got another two days travelling down. Um, but I hope you're enjoying travelling down with us, so don't forget, if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. If you want to join us on more adventures, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of when we upload more content, don't forget to ring that bell. So again, because we're in France, à bientôt mes amis. Bien tôt.